Well, they're hot takes, and while we both think that all of these are maybe far-fetched, I'm going to tell you right now, mine is 100% true. My hot take when we talk about the Big Ten, J.J. McCarthy, I hate to say it, but he's not going to start a single game in 2022. And why is that? Cade McNamara will hold on to the starting job for the Michigan Wolverines at the signal caller spot. I say the same thing about Cade McNamara as I do for Stetson Bennett. What did he ever do to y'all? Why do you all hate him so much? We're talking about a guy in Cade McNamara that beat Ohio State, won the Big Ten Championship, got you to the college football playoff along the way, and here he is ready again to lead the Wolverines in 2022. Now look, I might think that J.J. McCarthy is the overall better talent, but I think right now Cade McNamara has made himself the clear-cut favorite to be the leader of this team, and I don't think that he has slipped up enough to lose that spot as we build up towards the season, a pivotal one when we talk about what the Wolverines will do as they follow up a very special 2021 season. Carl, I just feel like this is going to be something that he has to wait out. I want to hear what you have to say on that, but Blake, Cade McNamara is good. What, what are we talking about here, you know? Yeah, he's a good player. I mean, I think he's he does what he's asked to do at Michigan. And last, last season, Michigan had a very good defense that they relied on. They, they relied on the ground and pound run game that they, you know, typically do. I think this year you might see a different K McNamara because I think Michigan's offense is going to have to do more this year. Their defense should probably, I'm expecting a drop off this year. I mean, they lose so much talent on, on, on every level. And I think their offense has potential to be very, very good this season. They're, they're, they're stacked at all the critical positions. They've got some depth. So I wouldn't be surprised if Michigan, you know, tries to open it up a little bit. You know, their schedule is a great schedule for them. I don't see them having a lot of uh, trouble early on in the season at all, so he can get in a groove. So that's, you know, I, th I think he's underrated, but I think we'll find out this year depending on what he's asked to do. And he's got some experience now. So uh, J.J. McCarthy, I would expect to play some. He's a talented guy. Uh, but I, I, I think McNamara is the guy that's going to get the ball when it's, when it's critical. And, you know, the Ohio State game is going to come down to whether they can win the season or, or not, you know, win a division. In this day and age, when you have a talent like J.J. McCarthy and he doesn't start, everybody immediately runs to the transfer portal. You become a hot recruit all over again. But I want to go the other way on this. I think that for certain guys in certain situations, there is a tremendous amount of value on staying at the University of Michigan, continuing to be developed by Coach Harbaugh and his staff in an NFL offense, in an offense that gets guys ready to play in the NFL, and just continuing to compete. Everybody doesn't have to enter the transfer portal. There are guys throughout the country that are not going to start this season, and their first instinct is going to be to run to the portal. But there'll be a few guys who are smart, that stay and continue to develop their game. And by developing their game, they're going to give themselves and their football future much more hope in the long term by allowing themselves to be coached and their weaknesses being corrected because there's always a reason why one guy is starting and the other guy is not.